Larry Williams wrote a book called Long Term Secrets to Short Term Trading. In this book, he describes many patterns that you can use as strategies. And the nice thing about these old books is we have like 20 years out of sample. The pattern we will discuss today from this book is Smash Days. And since this book was published somewhere around 98, we have about 24 years of out of sample data that we can test. Now, there are two patterns called Smash Days and Hidden Smash Days that Larry Williams talk about long and short. In this video, we will focus on the first one, the obvious one, Smash Days, long side only, as I will show you how to get this pattern, add some filters, stop loss, profit targets, how to enhance it to build a strategy that you can trade it on a portfolio of instruments even 22, 24 years later. So this is how the smash day pattern looks like. Imagine uh, this chart, uh, bar number one is up, bar number two is up, and then bar number three is down, and bar number four, the low, takes the low of the past three bars. So this is usually a breakdown, and most people on this day want to short the next day. So the next day open and we have a reversal bar. This reversal bar will catch everybody by surprise. And then all the people who shorted here or who exited here, now they want to get back in. And of course this will fuel the trade even more. This is a false breakdown. And of course it's the same pattern on the false breakout. And to implement this strategy, once we find this pattern, we need to place a buy order above the bar number four high. So when bar number four happens, we mark the high and then the next day we wanna buy above that high. Now, Larry Williams in his book, he doesn't go about exits, stop loss, profit target, filters. He just mentioned the, the pattern because he mentioned many the patterns in this book and I guess he wasn't uh, interested in providing an exit. But of course, we can simply implement many types of exit, and this video is about that. By the way, if you are new to this channel, welcome aboard. Thank you for watching. My name is Ali Casey, and you are watching Stadways' channel, where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading, and everything else in between. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I provide on this channel. Also, it would be great if you can smash the like button as this will help Google Algos to push this video to other traders and investors so they can get the value that you are getting. Okay, here we are in TradeStation and I built the strategy. So don't get <laughs> confused. You think it's complicated. It's not complicated. I just built many options so we can test. So this is the strategy. The entry is two conditions. One is the close of yesterday below the open. That means we have a down day. So this is a down day. And then the next condition is the close lower than the low of yesterday. So uh, bar number four, the close, which is this one, should be lower than the low of this bar. Once these two condition happens, then we place an order above this high. So going back here, this is the entry signal. If condition one and condition two are true, meaning these two red bars, then we will buy next bar high stop, meaning we will buy above this high. So the first exit we will test is bars since entry. So condition 10, this is condition 10, and this is bar since entry, and I have bars in trade variable, so we can optimize the variable to see so this is the row strategy so this is the strategy applied to the es uh, daily bars the es is the s p 500 futures and this is how it looks like so let me zoom in so let's look at this bar this is a down bar so this is the open and the close maybe if we switch to uh, candles so this is a down bar and then here the close is below this low so then we can enter and we will exit after five bars one two three four five we exit next bar on the open again here this is a down bar the close here is below this low 
then we enter we exit after five bars now this is the data over 15 years ending in january of 2021 and we can see the row strategy on its own exiting after five bars we have 161 trades 67 percent profitable we're making 71,000 and an average of 445. Now, I didn't put any uh, slippage in commission, but as you can see, uh, the average trade is huge, so we no don't need to worry about it. And then this is the graph, and then periodical returns since 2007. Best years were 2020 and 2019. Now, I want to show you that the raw strategy works actually on many, many symbols. So let me try here. This is NASDAQ. Again, same data. We have $200 average trade. And this is the Dow Jones. Almost $200 average trade. And this is the Russell 2000. $20 average trade. So that will not work. And this is the mid cap, SP mid cap 400. Great average trade 470. And this is gold futures, average is 681. And this is 10 year treasury, average 276. This is 5 years treasury, average 115. This is Canadian dollar, average $53. Also, it works on stocks, so this is Google, average 37, Microsoft, average 60. This is based on 100 shares, Facebook, 83, Amazon, 391. So you can see the raw strategy on its own. There's no stop loss, no profit target, no filter. Out of sample, 24 years, but here I'm testing only the last 15 years. And it works on futures, uh, currencies, stocks, ETFs. Really, that's, I mean, there are rare strategies that work on many uh, instruments, many asset classes. So now that we found this gem of a pattern, let's try to make uh, some strategy out of it by adding some exit filters to make it a complete strategy so here we are back on the es and first thing we want to test is well we are exiting after five bars let's see what can we do so let me optimize this from zero to 22 so i'm holding basically zero uh, to a month and all of them are profitable and then uh, we get into this stable region after i would say four bars now, what we need to look at is, let's look at the drawdown and the number of trades after four. So this is four, and we can see we have 168 trades here, and at 21, we have 100. And 13, which is the highest amount of money, sits somewhere in the middle at 123. And if we look at the drawdown, so yes, 13 is the highest profit, but in terms of drawdown, it is stable here. So even though this is the highest, I will pick this one. So let's pick 13 days as the best number. Of course, we increase the uh, average trade a lot. And now let me test if this works also on the other instruments. Uh, huge performance on NASDAQ. Same thing on YM. And Russell 2000 now, it's 469 average trade. So only by picking uh, the exit number of bars, we enhance the strategy, all of them almost double. Now the drawback here, we don't have any stop loss. Of course, we're exiting after 13 days. During those 13 days, obviously we have some deep drawdown because we didn't look at it. So now we need to put to put a stop loss that will work so this is the stop loss let's optimize that zero to five thousand with 250 so it's stable after 750 so 750 to five thousand they're all producing good profits but we are mainly concerned with the drawdown so we need to pick something here 
So this is 1250 at 10,000. That looks good. Now, yes, I'm sacrificing some profits, but definitely much better drawdown. So let me fix this. So right now, this strategy is already baked. I mean, I have the stop loss and an exit after a number of days. And that's it. This strategy, you see, it's already doing very well. Remember, all of this is out of sample. <laughs> so uh, let's see periodical returns. It's really, really performing wonderful, especially 2020, 2021. But let me test now, maybe if I set a... So I fix the stop loss and I fix the exit. What about if we introduce a profit target? So this is a profit target from zero to $10,000. All of them are profitable. So I'm happy to pick anything here. Uh, let's pick uh, this one, maybe, I don't know, 6,000, let's pick 6,000. Now, once you pick a stop loss and a profit target, then this strategy now is customized to this symbol. You cannot now move this strategy to YM because YM point value is totally different than the ES totally different than the Russell, totally different than Google, than gold. So remember this all the time. But if you use an indicator as an exit, then you can apply that to different symbols. And now let's try that because that is of course much better if you're building a portfolio of the same strategy, then it's much better to exit on an indicator value because then it's the same value for all symbols. So here in the exit, I will add condition 12 which is the rsi greater than value so it's either bar since entry so it's either 13 bars or i exit with the the indicator rsi so this is the rsi 35 to 95 by 5 and let's see so all values are profitable which is surprisingly <laughs> even 35 is profitable and it looks like it's stable above 65 so 65 to 95 is stable. Let's see the reduction in the number of trades. So here we have 189 trades and around 70, uh, kind of the same number of trades. And drawdown is the same. Uh, even the profits are the same. So let me then pick, uh, let me pick 75, which is the default value for RSI. So this is really good now because now I'm exiting either with a number of bars or with the RSI or with the stop loss. Now the stop loss here, it's still a applied per symbol. So it's gonna be different per symbol, but I can put the stop loss at a, as a catastrophic stop loss and apply it to all. So currently the stop loss is 1250. Let's see, I mean, I'm not gonna to touch it and let's see if this now applies to the other indexes so this is the nasdaq it's still profitable with a very good average trade ym still profitable very good average trade russell 2000 still profitable very good average trade so this is much better than a prof i mean you can still do profit target but really having an indicator as an exit and number of bars as an exit that is very general. You can apply it to any symbol, to stocks, futures, currencies, and then it will work much better uh, than uh, optimizing a profit target, optimizing a stop loss. Although there is nothing wrong with that. You just do need to make it liberal. You need to pick a stable region and not over optimize the strategy. I love these kind of strategies. All books, you have 20 years of out of sample. It's rare where you have a pattern that works on many asset classes and produce profits, not only work, but really produce profits. And we only added a bar, a number of bars exit and an RSI exit. Of course, I did apply the filters to entry, which enhanced the strategy even more, but reduces the number of trades. But due to the limitation of the YouTube video, I took that part out. Please let me know if you did find any patterns, any strategies in old books. Uh, maybe we can test them in other videos and I'll be happy to do, do that. And of course, if you have any questions, any comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. I do read and answer all questions sent to the channel. Of course, if you want to take this further and be a part of my inner circle, 
where we discuss these even further and you can get a copy of the strategy you can join the discord server through the link below where we comment and discuss strategies and i do host live weekly questions and answer sessions and of course we already have more than 400 questions already answered in video sessions and they're all cataloged so you can easily find them added to that we have the tactical asset allocation portfolio and very soon i will i'm adding more portfolios to the discord so you can trade with me on these portfolios as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon